Ava's right here. She's not fighting with anybody. No, she seems fine. She's just kind of hanging out with the king. This is a really frustrating battle because it fit. Are you serious? There's just another thing of reinforcements? Oh my god. When do I. Uh, this one might be two episodes, honestly. Jesus Christ. Because this, like, this battle is just like a wave battle. There's no, like. There's no sense of progress here. It's just, oh, you defeated them? Here's another wave. I am really fucking excited for Smash Ultimate, though. I'm curious. Tomorrow morning, for us anyway, uh, is the Smash Direct. Oh, that's a... Uh, Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock Eastern. Fuck, I won't be able to watch it. I'm going to be... It's going to be a struggle to get out of bed <laughs> and, and you know, wander into the heat, but I really, really, really want to see what's going to... Uh, like, it's just interesting to me because it's like, why... Like, what is the cause for them to do a direct like this? Uh, yeah, they kind of, it's almost like... I don't want to say they, they blew their load early with, like... They kind of did the invitational, though. but like, but but they did. They showed everything off. Yeah. So what else could they be talking about? My, I mean, my guess is maybe another character. Like what? John John was saying maybe um sub a subspace emissary mm -hmm. or you know a subspace emissary two or something along those lines or just whatever single player new yeah a thing single player doing, mode like, campaign yeah. thing, which yeah that makes that makes probably the most sense honestly, but it's just like all right so. Yeah, they did. They did reveal a lot in May, so or June, whenever the hell E three was. Uh, it was June, I think. June, yeah. So like, was, it was like around my birthday, and that yeah, was that's be like right. <laughs> so like, yeah, I, it, now it's just like, all right. So what? What is the? What is going to happen here? Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Know, now there was the, uh, there was the uh, the murmur about whether there'd be another fighter earlier on because there were sixty five. Uh, fighter slots or whatever and then there were uh, oh there were 66 slots in a in something that was being shown off but there were only 65 fighters oh, or something okay. like that like the way that it got counted out made people go wait hang on you counted yeah, one too but many like, fucking with the DLC and everything they just added slots to the bottom of the screen right. so you know that doesn't matter yeah so <laughs> oh, god damn it get back here where do you go get over hey 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 that's so goofy and now he's dead. Oh. I killed him because you liked him. Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, uh, man, this battle goes on for fucking ever. Um, yeah, I'm curious if it's going to feel like more than Smash 4. Or if it's going to feel like Smash 4 with a fuller roster and that's just it. Yeah. Because... Huh. I, my one of my bigger, I can't even call it a criticism exactly. It's something that makes me nervous, I guess, about the Switch. One of the few things that does is that a decent chunk of its of its game library so far has been Wii U games, mm. you know, upped in quality and and put back onto the Switch. And Dark Links, uh oh, because oh. like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, right. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, in a lot of ways, Smash Ultimate does kind of seem like it's at least partially that it's not it doesn't seem like it's just that but it does seem like there's at least some of that going on yeah i mean it, 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 it you know it, from what i've seen mechanically there's enough change that i hope and feel like there's potential for this to feel like a very different game yeah but um i don't know that wasn't really a, a worry of mine except for in like appearance yeah, you know, like it doesn't appear to look very different yeah, from the character, like because it's he's definitely using the like the exact same engine, the exact yeah. same character models. Actually, uh, it sounded like some of the character models were getting subtle shifts, um, like Charizard, for example, <laughs> apparently had its uh, its character model lightened to match the uh, Ken Sugimori art. Huh, interesting. And they're still finding ways to um. make things look pretty. Yeah. But I mean, like I've already seen that there's a lot more options out of Dash that just weren't there in Smash Four. Yeah. Um, there we go. I like that. I'm trying to remember all the things that they were talking about now at this point. I like that there's kind of diminishing returns on rolls and dodges. Yes, that's a that's a big that's a useful um, change. I like that. As someone who does a lot of dodging myself, 
Right. Like, you go up against someone who's, who does dodging a lot, and you're like, I'm going to be here for fucking ever. Right, right, right. So it is nice to see that you can't just sit there and do that forever. You do eventually have to kind of fight. Um, it, it seems like they're taking a lot more... They're paying attention to what professional players see in the game. Yeah. Like they're actually talking to some of the top players of Smash 4 and Melee um, about, like, what makes those games good, what makes those games bad, mm -hmm. what, you know, what what works and what doesn't. So, like, having a strong... I, I think a, a, the game needs to be strong mechanically first. And then you can add whatever silly items and modes right. and all that kind of stuff on top of it if you don't care about that. Yeah, you need but a good foundation before you can do anything else. That was always what I loved about Melee so much is that it was a very competitive game yeah. if you wanted to play it that way. And if you didn't want to play it that way... You didn't have to. That's fine. There was fucking Pokeballs and right. all sorts of shit and crazy, ridiculous levels. Like, I had tons of fun going on Hyrule. Uh, with the oh fucking God, gigantic yeah. map with tons of items and just like we're just gonna be here for an hour. Everybody doing, be ready. Doing ten stock or yeah. like you know like who cares? Um, but also I liked sitting and doing one v ones on Final Destination with no items and trying to work out the like f you know fine tune my control of my characters and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can't. I hope there's a little bit more. Uh, weirdly enough, I kind of hope there's a little bit more amiibo stuff. A little bit more like print, like um, like fine tuning you can do, or like uh, the playing as those characters. Yeah, like ha like training them and building them up and stuff. Because it felt like it felt like this, like not far off from a chow. Like, hey, here's like a couple items you can feed it. Yeah, and it'll just fight based off how you fight it. Right. But you can't like. Which I don't. Does it really actually learn that much from the the way that you I, fight it? I can't tell to be honest. <laughs> I that really can't. Seemed tell. like kind of bullshit to me. Like, I was like, really? If I fight it for ninety levels or whatever the fuck it is, a hundred levels, I don't know, whatever it was, is yeah. it really going to be better at fighting me than anyone else? I don't know. That seems. I would love to see a bit more fine tuning on that, both from the AI standpoint and on the in the sense of like I should be able to look at it and go, "Hey, I want to train this to be very aggressive." Yeah. Like maybe you know, or like give it a give it like, "Hey, here's like uh, a, a like pentagon of priorities between attack, mm -hmm. defense, dodging, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, items, and having something uh, like something, that that lets know, you kind of grappling manipulate the AI to help you. Like, oh, I'm really bad when my opponent's pressuring me. Let's yeah. make this as fast and aggressive as possible so exactly. I can better so you deal can with that. you train on that. I also would like to see a mode where you can do that and also kind of be able to see frame data. Where like, Oh, that could be useful. Like when you're it's not it, a secret anymore. It's been it's been mined out of the game so much. Sure, sure. But I'd like to know like if like set it so that like when I dodge my invincibility, I'm have like a white silhouette. Uh, and nice. then as soon as it ends, the white solo that goes away. So I, I know right. exactly where I'm at. Um, oh, so you can see. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can like fine tune how you're, you know, training with your own characters and stuff too. Right. Like when when can I most quickly interrupt this with another input? That kind of stuff. Uh, all right. But. Yeah, that could be pretty cool. Oh, can uh, you play as her? She has a gun and sword. She has a she has a cutlass and, and a gun. Yes. That's cool. Yeah, it is pretty rare. Play as her next. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I, I guess we'll know. find out. We will be finding out. You can now battle as King Daphnis. Windfall sail. <laughs> oh, man, that means he gets a bunch. I assume he gets the speed sail. I wonder what else he gets. Watchers of the Triforce. Before we do that. Oh, that's also going to be a Wind Waker thing. That's good. So we got to play as Daphnis first, then. Uh, do we have him in this one? I just said he was unlocked. We do, yes. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it up as... Actually, you know what? If you want to take the second character, you can play as Daphnis. You can do a two-player thing? Yes, you can. I mean, sure. Uh, we're going to come back, and we'll do this. We'll figure this out next time. All right. Well, excuse me, princess. Check it out. You got the with the and the with the. I'm the, I'm the boat goat. There we go. Got it. All right, Lana, where are you the at? The goat boat, I guess. Oh, she's just hanging out in here already. I've taken the keep. Nice. The keep is ours. Rah. Loyal subjects, bow so to me, you your make king. <laughs> if you can. Ow! Make oh God! <laughs> I got shot by a giant laser beam.